of black women in Western countries like the UK, Canada, the states would get angry at black men going to Africa to find wives. All right, nobody gonna cares, make this, bro. You know, yeah. You know what, dude? Nobody cares. I, I want, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Let's show them how much no one cool. gives a fuck. All right, ladies. Um, there's a movement. It's called the passport movement, where uh, men are leaving the United States and the West in general to find women abroad. Um, what are your thoughts on that? We'll start here and then work our way. Like, I understand. <laughs> I, I mean, were you aware of it prior to me just mentioning it to you? No. no. I guess women are different, like in other states. Like, were you like aware the... of this passport movement before I mentioned it just no. now? You weren't. Okay. Uh, what are your thoughts on men leaving the United States to go abroad to other places? I mean, I feel like the culture would be different for those girls because that's what they're looking for. They're looking for girls that fit their their viewpoint, I'm guessing. Do you care? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. What about you? You're a bit more international. Um, were you familiar with this movement prior to me mentioning it just now? I feel like it depends where. Because um, me being Canadian, like I do feel it out here in the United States that, um, that it's like when... When guys meet me, they're they're surprised and they're interested in like conversating with me and things like that because they're. Like, but were you aware of this move, this passport? I was. Movement? I was. You were aware of it, but okay. it depends where. Like. Well, men leaving the West to go to places like South America, um, Southeast Asia, um, those are the main places they go typically, right. and, and Eastern Europe are the three main hotspots. Right. Were you aware of that or no? Um. I've heard of it. I've heard of okay, it. Okay, so you're but, aware of it. Yeah. Um, what are your thoughts on it? I think it makes sense. Makes sense? Okay. Just Why do you because think it makes sense? Just the culture. The culture here is different. Um, maybe they're looking for something, you know, a little more uh, conservative, a little more, okay. um, you know, I don't know. I don't know if I should be. I don't know. I haven't lived in the States that long, but I've met, you know, I'm, me being Caribbean, it's... I, I follow that Caribbean culture, so right. that's what. Do you care? Not really. It's that's it's all I want to hear. It's their life. Yeah, like, right. it's their life. Yeah. What about you? Are you familiar with this passport movement? No. Okay. Um. Do you care? No. Okay. Um. And uh, what, your thoughts on it? Any thoughts at all? Um. I know it's your first time hearing it, but. No, just like based on what I've heard so far, I feel like it makes sense. Okay. Uh, ba going based off of like what she said, I I can see why, but I don't care. Fair enough. What about you? Had you heard about it before? I had not heard about it before, but I mean, it makes sense. I think there's somebody out there for everybody, and if that's their choice to go out there and you know, okay, right. date to what they like. Uh, do you care? Not at all. Fair enough. What about you? I personally don't care, and I think the closest I've been to this topic is like 90 Day Fiance. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Which is funny, so I guess I low-key care like in an entertainment way. <laughs> an entertainment I way. pity you fools. What are your thoughts on men that leave the United States to go find women abroad? If Good, bad, neutral? Neutral. If I were a guy, I wouldn't do it. I'm too lazy, I guess. You know, like, okay. I like my neighbors, but... <clears throat> okay, all right. Uh, what about you? I'm a little confused. What exactly is the concept here? <laughs> well, I mean, that tells you what you need to know. Yeah. No, no, not trying to insult you or anything, but uh -huh. um, it's essentially men leave Western countries like the United States, the United Kingdom, Australia, etc., and they go to countries where women tend to be more traditional, more feminine, like Colombia, uh, Brazil. You know, like submissive. They're more submissive, yeah. exactly, uh, versus dealing with Westernized women that tend to be more masculine, awesome. man, rambunctious, uh, uh, chase makes, their career more, etc. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Okay. Honestly. Had you heard about it prior to me mentioning no, it just now? But it makes sense. Okay. Do you care? Not really. Okay. Yeah. Um, thoughts on it since you've just heard about it the first time now? I mean, whatever flows your boat. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. What about you? I'm on the same boat. I haven't heard about the passport thing. Um, it's what the man wants. If they want to leave, they want to leave. I don't really have an opinion about it. Doesn't matter to you at all, huh? Not really. <laughs> it matters to me. Okay. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of toxic people here. Okay. Super toxic. And they want to go to another country because they're not feeling what they're feeling here. They're not going to get it here. They want to go somewhere else. It's super toxic. Mm. They can't take it. Okay. From the male perspective or the female perspective? Um, Maybe they're, they're not feeling it here. Maybe they want to try something new. It's okay. not working for them here. Had you known about it prior to me mentioning it just now? No, I'm just very... No? Okay kind of vibing with um people's decisions and maybe the reason why they made it is because they can't find something here okay they're not vibing here 
Okay. And they want to go somewhere else. Do you care? I absolutely care. You do care. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Without the cap. But okay. Ooh, I don't care. Uh, okay. <laughs> what about you? Just on my way uh, to states, like you know, the country is closed. You can't fly. You just need to take a bus. Like for 24 hours, I met three American granddad uh, who is like 63, and I asked it like, "What did you do in Ukraine?" He say, "I came to look for a wife." I mm. like, "Why? It's like a war." Ukraine's like, a very big destination for for men to meet yeah, women. Yeah, and actually, we have like I worked before when I was a student. Like it's like like marriage agency and you just type in with them and like 95 percent it's American people and you just post random pictures of the girls like you know and then they reach you and it's not real you the girl like you know you can just sell your pictures and they give you money and then like even boys like you know they say hey can you send me some present can you send me some money and like you know they like crazy sending so it's also a business here okay um with the with the women in Ukraine that know about these guys that come, do they respect them? Do they like them? Do they use them to make money? It seems from what you're telling me, it's a business. I mean, uh, okay. Some of my friends, when I was like at students, uh, we know that Russian Ukrainian men they're more strong, and you need. Sorry, but you don't need to play with them. But when <laughs> Americans come, it's like yeah, you true. can do whatever you want. Like you know, you can change the number of cards tomorrow. Like you know, something like that. I know because the students did it. Like my friends, um, mm -hmm. yeah, like that. Okay. To say I'm care, no. Wow. Okay. Um, and, and guys, I kind of wanted to go through the table here and have the ladies kind of describe it to you because a lot of guys put emphasis on, you know, being a passport bro, etc. I tell you guys this all the time. Go ahead. You want to go foreign? Find a woman uh, abroad? Do it. But understand that American women don't give a fuck, bro. They yeah. really don't. Like the women that do care are the women that aren't that attractive that no one cares about. You guys just heard a panel here. Majority of these women don't know what Password Bros is and they don't give a shit, bro. So it's like. I mean, why should they? Why? I mean, like, dude, why should. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Why do you even care what they think? Yeah. Just like, go do what you gotta go do. Go abroad. Go get your chick. It's fine. I don't, I'm not going to knock you guys for doing it, but understand that American women don't give a shit, dude. Yeah. <laughs> like, man. Y'all yeah, want them to care so bad. <laughs> um, what else? Go ahead, Fresh. Moses says So recently I caught my girl cheating. Wow. And she's saying she truly regrets um, it, and she's not willing to give me passwords, do anything I say, and some everything she's doing all the time. What do I do? I can send messages or call in for advice. So he, she, he caught her cheating, and she's willing to do whatever now. To I guess it's over. Yeah, it's over. It's over. It, it's, it's over. No, Never dump taking her. Back yeah. That yeah. cheats. Um, Fucking play. dump her. Fuck that bitch. Um, <laughs> dump her. How, and we'll do this with a raising hands. How many of you think he should dump her? Yes. Preach. Damn. Is that wow? Okay, yeah. that Once is it, that's, it. that's a ten out of ten. Real quick, give me one reason why he should dump her and not give her a chance. Since all of you believe that way, we'll start here and then work our way. Give me one sentence, real quick, why he should get rid of her immediately. Okay, we say if you did it once, you did it again. So like you know, it will be repeated. Is that, a, is that a Ukrainian? Like, uh, Ukrainian poverty. No, like, yeah, <laughs> like, like you know, even phrase. we can say that the girl, like she's, we know maybe someone did, but it's like super. Oh no, if she did it okay. once, she will do 